Now, if you watch the thinkorswim put debit spread and the call credit spread, there's a way to combine them both to uh, pay for your debit spread. So, you go to trade, pick the options chain that you wanted. We were talking earlier about doing July 17th put debit spreads. We don't think the market's going to go that high. Um, so we'll do the same thing. We're going to sell the 302. So on other sites, there's different ways of doing this, but you're going to basically go in and sell an iron condor. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky on thinkorswim. So you want to be short the 302 call. We want to be, we're going to be cover ourselves by buying the 307 call. So we have $500 of space there. But then here's where you got to kind of be, I think this one doesn't make it that easy. Um, we want to I don't think it'll let us do like the 280 here. It's going to move price around. But the plus is you are buying. I think if we put the price down here to 263, it's going to flip it around. But I think we just have to change the. Nope, we're good. So we are short a 302, July 17th. Spy 302 call, and we're hedging ourselves with the buying the 307 call. If it goes against us, we can work that back. But we're using that premium to decrease our cost in buying a 280 put spread, so we're plus one on the put side, and then we're going down to 263, so it's costing us. Two dollars and sixty-two cents, or two hundred sixty-two dollars. So if we look at the total cost, the buying power effect is going to be two hundred sixty-three dollars. Um, the mass loss is seven hundred sixty-three dollars. The max profit is fourteen hundred thirty-seven dollars. This is to reduce your cost of entry. Um, so that would be basically selling. A call credit spread to use that premium to buy a put spread. Send it off. There you go.